So this is what it's going to look like when you're mining Ravencoin using the T-Rex NVIDIA GPU miner. Hey, what's up guys, Andrew here. And in this video, I'll show you how to mine Ravencoin with the T-Rex NVIDIA GPU miner. Okay guys, so before we get started, I just want to say that this is not financial advice. This is not uh, any advice of how to use your machine. Uh, please make sure that you are um, you are fully aware of what you can do to your machine. You can potentially damage your desktop or your laptop uh, if you consider using uh, these uh, uh, these equipment pieces uh, to mine. So I will not be held responsible for anything that you do with your machine, uh, but you can uh, strike uh, somewhat of uh, gold here if uh, you follow the instructions on how to mine according to the website. I'm not responsible for what you do with your machine. Uh, this is not financial advice. All right, so the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna go to twominers.com. Once again, that's twominers.com. You're gonna scroll down to the section where it says um, mining pool or solo. We're gonna focus on the pool and we're going to click on Ravencoin. Okay, we're gonna click that. Once you head there, it's gonna show you some information. Uh, the 10 Ravencoin is the minimum for payout directly to your wallet. Uh, so you're definitely gonna look forward to that. Uh, quick start, we're gonna click that. After clicking that, it's gonna give you some instructions on how to create a wallet. We're not gonna focus on that here, but the wallet that I use is Exodus. I'm gonna link uh, in the description below for that. Uh, we wanna go to T-Rex, that's our focus here. And if you're not familiar with a wallet address looks like, it looks something like this, okay? It's gonna be a uh, very lengthy uh, like that, okay? So we're going to go to the guide, how to use T-Rex. We're going to click that. Once you get over there, it's going to give you some information about uh, T-Rex. We want to go to the section that says uh, on the project's website. We want to head to, over to the website. We're going to click that. Once we click there, we're going to download the T-Rex miner. It's a zip file. Uh, what I use here is uh so if you're not familiar with the zip uh, file so i use seven zip so you can download seven zip i'm going to link uh to for that in the description uh seven zip is what i use to uh unzip uh, my files on windows 10 which is what i use so we're going to click uh, download it's going to download the file to whatever section you have it downloaded usually downloads or um you know uh, documents depending if you want to throw your stuff in there you can do that as well once you do that, you're going to unzip that file and it's going to look like this. This is the folder I named it T-Rex and inside that folder, you're going to have a whole bunch of files that uh, we're actually going to edit this file here. But before we do that, let's head back over here. Okay. So this is the wallet address is what's going to look like. So what you want to do is you want to navigate to your wallet. You want to find Ravencoin. I use Exodus Wallet and you want to get the receive address. OK, the receive address for your Ravencoin. And that's what we're going to put in the uh, file. We're going to edit in this particular folder. Uh, so in here, what you're looking for is the RVN dash two miners dot BAT. We're going to right click. Okay, we're going to right click on that. We're going to hit edit. All right. And what you're going to do is uh, so this is the structure of the file itself. And you're going to change this information here. Okay, you're going to change this information here. So the first uh, the first section before the period is your receive wallet address for Ravencoin in your wallet. Okay, that's the receive address. Okay, and then dot, and then the second part is the name of the miner. Okay, so I have my address here. Okay, you're going to put yours in the file, and then dot, and I named it Alliance, which is really my last name. So this is my receive address dot Alliance. I named and put the name here. That's what I wanted to name the miner. And then once you edit that, that's the only thing you're editing in this file. Once you do that, you're going to hit X. It's going to ask you to save it. You're going to save that and that's it. Okay. So now how do you run it now to run it? You just double click on the file and it will begin. It will open up something like this and it's going to start running the actual program. I'm using an MSI NVIDIA RTX 3060. 
uh for me so here's what i'd say here let's jump here for a second so what i would say is if you're planning to mine uh please don't use your laptop uh, if you can pr if you can stay away from laptops do not use your laptop to mine you can if you feel comfortable with it the reason i'm saying this is because when you use your laptop because of the circuitry is so close together uh, the fanning and getting the hot air out may be a little bit more difficult than if you were to use a pc a tower with four or five fans in it right that kind of thing so i would not necessarily recommend you use a laptop to mine i would use a desktop with a card i would say at least use a um gtx 1060 with at least six gigs of ram in it i'm using a 3060 rtx which is um the card i'm currently using right now but at minimum i would say definitely pick up if you can because i know things are kind of like there's a shortage right now and there's, there's also price gouging right now i would say definitely pick up a gtx 1060 with at least six gigs of ram that's what i would recommend bare minimum if you're building a mining machine so i wanted to let you guys know that and that's pretty much it so we're, we're gonna go back over it real quick so as you're setting up uh you go to raven coin so let's go here uh two miners.com is the website so we're gonna do a quick uh, uh recap and then from here you're going to go to raven coin once you hit the raven coin you're going to hit quick start after quick start you're going to generate a wallet if you don't have one already make sure you have it save the seed phrases for that okay uh, then navigate to the t-rex website uh, after you navigate the t-rex website you're going to download the t-rex miner okay you're going to unzip that and then you're going to edit the file like we talked about so what happens uh, from there so once you set everything up what you're going to find is the let's look at some stats okay so for me right now so let's let's do this um i think this is good uh for for science as they say so i'm gonna edit i'm gonna copy my address here i think this is important that you see this so copy that and the reason i'm going back in here is i want to show you what happens when you're mining and the stats okay so i'm gonna paste my wallet address here it was already there so so we went a long way around the mountain and now it's showing you the statistics for my current progress uh for the mining okay so this is my receive wallet address here you have here unpaid balance so once this reaches 10 uh raven coin it's going to pay out okay it shows the current hash rate while i'm using the machine so this fluctuates anywhere between 40 um somewhere between 20 and 40 right now it's low because i'm doing a lot of things on my machine right now uh so it's fluctuating uh the current and the average so you have that uh, also you have re the rewards it also shows you the hash rate on the chart it gives you that this website is pretty pretty cool when it comes to stats and, and what it offers um and also let's just go to reward real quick it shows you the last 60 minutes of the rewards it shows the stats on that it shows you the dates my reward from uh 825 and 826 and it shows you that uh payouts already thus far it shows you the last payouts which is fantastic so this is what happens when you're looking at um your stats for the uh raven coin as you're mining it and i uh, hope that helps hope that gave you value all right so one thing i want to add to this uh, by way of a troubleshooting uh situation is sometimes your virus definition will catch uh, the folder as a threat or the exe file as a threat for the miner uh, so just, just by way of an example let's say you didn't extract the zip yet you can create a folder okay so we're going to say new and let's just name the folder awesome okay by way of an example and then from there you want to go to virus definitions okay so we'll go to virus definitions from virus definitions we're going to go to uh, virus and threat protection settings and then from there we're going to go to exclusions add or remove exclusions and we're going to add an exclusion okay the folder we just created which is the awesome folder all right and that's what we're going to add as an exclusion okay so you could do that once you do that uh, that folder that you're going to extract your your t-rex miner uh, from the zip file you can put it in the awesome folder um so that's one 
way to to kind of like uh, troubleshoot if you're having issues with your virus definition you know going crazy uh, the other thing you can do also is if you already have the folder uh on your desktop so my folder is t-rex which is where the mining is the mining software is uh so what i can do there is i can add an exclusion for that folder okay so we'll do folder and we'll do t-rex so we'll add the t-rex as an exclusion i'll also add the file which is the exe of the t-rex folder on my desktop see that desktop t-rex i'm also going to add that as an exclusion the exe file the program itself so we're going to open that as an exclusion so uh the awesome is is an example for this uh t-rex is the actual place where i have uh, my folder um the actual file a uh, t-rex is where i actually i have the actual folder and then unminable is another uh, program that i've used uh in recent days i also have an exclusion for that so uh, definitely add those exclusions if you need them again the way you get there is by going to virus um let me just make sure i'm spelling that correctly virus okay virus and threat protection and then from there you're going to do uh, virus and threat protection settings and then from there you're going to go to uh exclusions right and then that's how you get in this particular section now if you notice i already have a situation that i need to adjust right so you see here it says current threats threats found start the recommended actions and it shows that at 8 26 uh the date at 134 p.m we have an active uh, current threat is low so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say allow on device okay and let's just start the actions there and hopefully that solves my threats so if i go to the bottom right here by the clock you notice that my shield is green with a check on it which means there are no current threats on my machine thanks for watching this video i really do appreciate it please make sure you like subscribe and click another video on the end screen i appreciate it